All right, today, taking a look at ALF from NECA. Ultimate action figure. Collectobot. Okay, NECA's ALF. This is one I've been looking forward to for a while because I've seen other reviews on it and it just looked amazing. And it was a big ALF fan. Which, alien life form, I probably could not have even told you that that's what ALF stood for. Oh, I killed me. Loving the packaging right up front. Great picture of just ALF, and then, oh look, someone with taste. Yep. Nicely done there, top. What does that say? Side here, spare some change for a reboot. I'm actually... Kind of wondering why they haven't rebooted it yet. They reboot everything else. Why not, Elf? And that looks great there. Elf crash landed through the roof of the Tanner's family garage and square into the hearts and homes of America's television viewers. <laughs> yep. Me show for my own products? No problem. Let's see, in NECA fashion, it does have a little open up there. That looks great. Holy. All the accessories, just the figure itself on first glance. Just that picture in the wind, the other side here. All right, let's open this guy up. Yeah, we've got Mr. Alf here all opened up. Let's take a look at what he came with accessory-wise. His Hawaiian shirt. Neat little thing. Nice little piece there. Opens up with Velcro. Yeah. All right. Cool. Multiple hands, obviously. All figures these days come with multiple hands. Gripping hands. Doesn't really show too well there. Pointing fingers. There we go. They do look nice. More gripping hands. Holding on to stuff. Perfect. Nice big old bowl of popcorn. Looks good. And this is the kind of thing that doesn't scream ALF, so you could just use it for whatever kind of figure display you may have. This, what, CB radio, I guess? Something like that. Uh, looks cool. Looks very good. I personally don't think I'll be displaying my owl figure with it. I know it was part of his, uh, part of the deal there. Part of the show, but looks cool. Don't really think it's going to go with my elf display. Shades. Alf's got to have his shades. Nice basic piece there. Alf's girlfriend. Don't remember the name of her. But nice that Alf still has a picture of her. Um... How was that? Oh, was that? That's like uh, one of Al's favorite snacks or something, possibly. I don't remember the name. I don't know. Kind of looks like weed. It's not weed. I know that. Now we got a pop can. Obviously, it looks meant to look like Pepsi, but obviously, I guess they couldn't obviously use the Pepsi logo. And I believe from watching another review video of Elf, Fusco is the creator, I believe. So that's a nice little touch. Give a little recognition. Nice. And then this Elf and his cats. 
if it wasn't a cat guy, it was a dog person when the show first started. So, oh yeah, this is funny. Elf eats cats. Now I'm a cat guy. Meh. I suppose it's still funny because I know it's not real, but meh, I don't know if I'll be displaying that. <laughs> Just because I'm a cat guy now. Now right, let's take a look at the figure. Okay, neck is ultimate elf out of the package. Looking fantastic, I think. This is a great representation. Right down to even the little moles or whatever that uh, Alf had in his face. Neck articulation. Um, does the mouth open up? I think it's supposed to, but oh, jaw, oh, jaw kind of moves. You get those Alf faces. Got a bit of an ab crunch. Big ol' feet. Oh, had a tail? Yeah, I guess so. Pause. Yeah, no, this, I mean, this thing looks great. Trying to wrestle with the mouth here, I thought. Shouldn't it close a little bit better? Hmm. Take a look at the full 360. Just a great looking figure, I think. Top to bottom, that that's elf to me. Like, no question. Might be my favorite figure so far this year that I've opened uh, that I've opened up and that I've received. That's so good. I had to do a quick bit here. Out for the shades. Got to take a look at that. Nice. One of my favorite figures right now, easily. Neca's Alf. Collector Bond.